Welcome to the ICC. This is the uh, Vice President of the Assembly of State Five. Good morning. Okay. And uh, Madam Arbia, the Registrar of the ICC. Okay. It is a great honor for me to open this ceremony to celebrate the Philippines becoming the 117th state party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Your Excellency, in March this year, I traveled to Southeast Asia in order to raise awareness about the ICC and to facilitate discussions about the ratification of the Rome Statute in a region that is severely underrepresented among the ICC's states' parties. I could not have chosen a better place to start the visit than Manila. On the first day, I met with uh, His Excellency President Benigno Aquino III, who announced to me that he had just signed the ratification bill which would be sent to the Senate for concurrence. Your Excellency, the Philippines is a model in its region for a strong and vibrant democracy, which your people have fought hard for. Today, the Philippines is once again showing its leadership in its region as it becomes only the second ASEAN country to ratify the Rome Statute. This not only strengthens the legal protection of your territory and your citizens against uh, terrible atrocities, but it fortifies the global struggle against impunity for genocide, war crimes, crimes against humanity, and aggression crimes. I sincerely hope that the historic step taken by your country will encourage other Southeast Asian nations to follow the example of the Philippines. The Roman statute entered into force for the Philippines on November 1, November the 1st, 2011, becoming the 16th state party belonging to the group of Asia Pacific and bringing the total number of states parties to the Rome Statute to 117. These are all extremely encouraging news, as has been the recent wave of ratifications from the region. But the fact of the matter is that in spite of all the progress made, Asia Pacific still remains the most underrepresented region in the Rome Statute system, with just 17 states parties to date. Only a growing number of states parties from the region will send a strong enough signal to the international community that impunity to the most heinous crimes is no longer acceptable in Asia Pacific. We can only urge the Philippines' neighbors to follow its example. It is therefore my, a true privilege for me, on behalf of the Assembly of States Parties, to congratulate the Philippines once again and to extend to it a warm welcome to the growing ICC family. On behalf of the government of the Republic of the Philippines, I wish to thank you for the very warm welcome you have extended to our country, the Philippines, as a new state party to the Rome Statute. Indeed, it has been a very long road for us towards this moment of joining you all at this welcome ceremony here in The Hague. With the Rome Statute entering into force for the Philippines last week on the 1st of November. The Philippines has also always aspired for the establishment of a permanent international criminal court that would dispense justice effectively and efficiently. It has always believed in having an institution that would address the problem of impunity of the perpetrators of the most serious violations of the laws of humanity to help maintain international peace and security. It was based on these that the Philippines actively participated in the Rome Conference of 1998, which paved the way for the establishment of the International Criminal Court. 
The ratification of the Rome Statute presents a significant achievement for the Philippines, particularly in relation to its long-standing commitment and adherence to human rights and humanitarian law. And due to true to its position as a leading human rights advocate in Asia. The Philippines believes that the ratification of the Rome Statute will help end impunity by holding individuals, and not only states, accountable to the highest international standards of military conduct and humane behavior. On behalf of the Philippine government, I wish to express our appreciation to the members of the court as well as to all states' parties for their hard work, devotion, and dedication in bringing the International Criminal Court to where it is now, an expanding and dynamic institution supported by 119 states, parties, and counting, aiming at putting an end to impunity of the perpetrators of the most heinous crimes, serving justice effectively and efficiently, and championing the rights and welfare of the victims. I would like to close by saying that indeed the Philippines is proud to be a member of the International Criminal Court family. We look forward to working with all of you. Thank you very much. In the presence of the uh, Vice President of the Assembly of States Parties, I would like to present to you uh, this uh, special limited edition of the uh, Rome Statute to the International Criminal Court. Um, it symbolizes our common commitment to the rule of law and a common goal of ending impunity. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>